Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I just watched a video from Gun Skinny. Official shout out right now, Gun Skinny. Kyle, awesome guy. Go check him out. Link will be in the description box. If you like him, like his videos like I do, subscribe to him. If you don't, don't. <laughs> That's entirely up to you. <coughs> but he just did a video, and the title is Potheads Have the Right to CCW, right? Question mark. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Uh, and his video is basically, uh, he got a text from someone with like a news article about some woman in Oregon who is a medical marijuana patient and she had her carry permit revoked because even though it's legal there in Oregon or whatever, whatever the story was, um, it's a controlled substance and not allowed to have a, a firearms permit uh, while taking a controlled substance. So it got my brain going, got all the gears moving. Now I'm thinking. Sometimes I could be good, sometimes I could be scary. But I'm thinking about this. <clears throat> now I commented on someone, I replied to someone's comment. Their comment, and I'm paraphrasing here, something along the lines of uh, a citizen, an American citizen is an American citizen, period, or something like that. Basically saying that, look, if you live in America, you have the Second Amendment right, no questions asked, it doesn't matter what you do. Hmm. That's a very interesting thought. So then, like I said, the gears are going. They're rotating. You know, I'm building thoughts now and I'm trying to think of lots of different circumstances and if that should affect your second amendment right. A lot of people will argue the fact that if you're born here in America and you're an American citizen, that you have the right to defend yourself, period. If you are of age, you have the right to defend yourself. So the first question is, who makes up the age rule? There are certainly very mature 15 year old kids and very immature 40 year old men. Who says that the 40-year-old guy can have the gun and that that smart 15-year-old can't? That's the first question, really. Let's think about this. It's just accepted that we, as a society, set certain age limits for certain things. We feel, as a whole, at some point, that you're not really responsible enough to own a gun until you're, well, let's say a pistol, until you're 21. So, let's say you're 20 and you're a total moron, you know, just very immature, a horrible... Um, sense of responsibility, but when you turn 21, you're that same person, but you're now you're of legal age. And I understand we have to set some kind of rules. You can't just have, you know, eight-year-olds walking in the stores and buying guns. I get that. But it's an interesting concept, you know. There's just a very distinct line there. You're, you're 20 years old. You, tomorrow, you can be your birthday. Today, you can't have a gun. You're way too mature to own a gun. Tomorrow, sure, you've grown up. <laughs> Go ahead. So that's the first interesting thought about that. What do you think about gun ages? Do you think it should be raised? Do you think that it, uh, it should have nothing to do with age? Maybe you have to take a very long test on responsibility? What are your thoughts on it? If you could change the laws, what would you make it? Now, here's some other thoughts. Let's go back to Gun Skinny's article that he wrote. Uh, medical marijuana users. Do you feel that a medical marijuana user should still have the right to carry a firearm just like the rest of us? Um, obviously the concern there is if, if they're high, can they really have good judgment? Will they make mistakes? Will they be more irresponsible because of the fact that they're taking medical marijuana to, um, ail one of their problems, health problems? I don't know. Some people will say, no, they're not responsible. If they're walking around high, they can't have a gun. No way. Other people will say, it doesn't matter what they do. Who cares if they're high? They're an American citizen. They can have guns. They can have that responsibility. They, they were born into that. Interesting concept. Now let's think outside the box even more and talk about some other very specific scenarios or situations and people's circumstances. And the first thing I thought of is mental retardation. If you're literally retarded, do you feel that this person should have the right to carry a firearm? Hmm. That's an interesting thought. They're, they're citizens. They're American citizens. Why not? What makes them an exception to the rule. Some people may say, well, they're not, you know, capable of the thought process and the responsibility it takes to own a firearm. Is that really up to you to think? Is that your decision? Who makes you the boss, you know? And a lot of people will probably argue the fact that, no, that's a very specific case. They, they shouldn't have firearms for obvious reasons, that they would be a danger to themselves and so forth. Well, there's many different levels of retardation. Some people are mentally retarded and they live full lives, you know, they take care of themselves. Other people obviously need more help than, than some. Let's go on to another scenario. How about someone who's bipolar? 
Ooh, I don't know about that. I know a few bipolar people. And as long as they take their medicine, they're okay. Sometimes they're off their medicine, they have their mood swings, they have their good days and their bad days. And their good days, they can walk to a gun store, buy a gun, big smile on their face, very responsible citizen. Then the next day, maybe they get a little too angry, too emotional about something, and they use that gun. Not good. How do you feel? What do you think about that? How about prescription drugs? Now, yes, this miracle, uh, miracle. That's a, a marijuana miracle. Uh, medical marijuana patient is taking a legal drug, but it's a controlled substance. So the idea is it may alter the mind, your thoughts, your you know, decision-making process, and obviously that would be a danger and irresponsible to give this person a firearm. How about all the uh, legal, you know, other, other medicines, other legal prescription takers, people who take, say, Vicodin or, you know, heavy drugs to counteract pain that they have, different ailments. Are those people, you think, mentally stable enough, you know? I don't know. I'm asking you. How about someone with Parkinson's disease? Some kind of neurological disease where, you know, you got the shakes. You really want someone, you know, have a gun who has the shakes? I don't know. What do you think? I think this is going to be my first video ever that I don't give my opinion. What do you think of that? I'm just going to uh, state my thoughts as I did. And I'm going to let you all talk amongst yourselves in the comment section. So this should be, this should prove uh, interesting. Let's see what your thoughts are on these. There will definitely be some disagreements, which is fine, you know. Let's all be respectful. No name calling, no, you know, just, just voice your opinion respectfully. If you, do, if you disagree with someone and, and it gets a little heated, just agree to disagree. And just write that. I agree to disagree. Or I respectfully disagree. Whatever. No need to get rude and, and you know, stupid with each other. Let's all be respectful. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? What do you think? Uh, do we Are we really all created equal? Obviously, we're not created equal, but by law, and as far as the guns are concerned, and as far as our, our born Second Amendment right, is everyone really entitled to it? How do you feel about it? Hmm. Interesting, huh? So, uh, yeah, check out Gun Skinny's channel, because Kyle's a nice guy, and he makes some uh, interesting videos. I certainly like him. And uh, that's that. Like I said, talks amongst yourselves. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I might comment. I might not. I do not know. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.